going on, everybody? DJ Gohan here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Farm Some Dose, baby. Hashtag Farm Some Dose. I've got to wear sunglasses today because my eyes are very sensitive from the surgery yesterday, but it went great. Today, we've got 36 PC mods in testing. We've got one console mod in testing. With all those 23 mods released today, and then another 15 mods released today, it's Fact Sheet Friday. Shout out to Trucker Matsy for killing it yesterday. Raleigh Christie has stolen the spotlight of every video I've done. White Bull Mining's got a new YouTube. TV. Did I say that right? 40 Mining talk about the different versions on their Heston Baylor. Inside Design have a new Massey Ferguson. Cola Mining's working on a new trailer. SM Farm is updating their sprayer, and we've got more information. Dash Mining is always working hard, no surprise there. Peter716 talks about the update to his new park farm that released today. Plus, we reviewed the information that we've got on Carl Farm's in dump trailers for consoles. Oh, yeah, and I don't know anything about the Millennial Farmer map or the NMC trucks just to get that out of the way. Let's check it all out. It's SD4PC, we have the B32D, Beaver Tail Low Loader, Cultist M4000, Iker G220, Electric Scooter, Farm Building with Cows, Grain Garage, Kane LBT 16 Ton, Combi, Crone Easy Cut Pack, Crone ZX470 GD, Labouche K150, Lizard Butterfly, Lizard Sugar Beet Seed, Maze Plus, Massey Ferguson Activa 7345S, Nifus 93341, No Automatic Refill, No T Force Plus 640, Pack Big Bag, Pack Cotton, Rave MKE 400, RGB Lighted Tree Planter Box Pack, Seasons Geo Brazil SC, Seasons Geo Zeckley Land, Sipma Z224, South Brazilian Map, Star and Ninja 24000, Zeckley Land, The Northern Coast, Timber Frame Shed, Tin Hall, Trailer Axle Blocker, Vince Tudu Granos, West Newton Farm, and Zilona Crana. In testing for consoles, we have the Lizard Music Minge. With all that being said, we still have 87 mods sitting waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time of newly submitted mods is 5 work days. In addition to the mods and testing, Giants released 23 mods overnight and another 15 mods later today. I've already made 2 mod videos showing off all of the mods that were released today and last night. You can find both of those linked in the first pinned comment below. It's Friday and that means we've got new fact sheets for the upcoming Alpine Farming Expansion DLC releasing in just under 2 weeks on November 12, 20. 2020, that's a Thursday, for all platforms, PlayStation 4, 5, Xbox One, XS, all the good stuff, PC, Mac, and Google Stadia. If you're on PC and would like to pre-order the DLC, I do have a link down in the description below, and that link does go to help support the channel at no extra cost to you. If you're on console and own the Season Pass, you will receive the DLC the day of release for free, and for everyone else, you can purchase the DLC on November 12th for $19.99 USD. With that being said... Let's check out today's fact sheets. First up today, we have the Bureau 6105 tractor. A lot of you guys have been excited about this one. This is going to cost you $39,000, has 100 horsepower, it goes 32 kilometers per hour or 19 miles per hour, holds 90 liters of fuel, and has standard and wide tires that can be changed from Trelleborg, Michelin, and Midas. Next up, we have the Pottinger Servo 25 Plow. This is going to cost you $14,000, has a power requirement of 85 horsepower, has a 7 mile per hour max working speed or 12 kilometer max working speed, has a 1.2 meter working width or 4 feet, and works perfect with the Agco 650 front weight. Next to last, we have the Pottinger Synchro 3020 Cultivator. This is going to cost you $7,500, has a 90 horsepower requirement, it has a max working speed of 9 miles per hour or 15 kilometers per hour, it has a 3 meter or 10 feet working width, and works perfectly with the Agco 650 front weight. And lastly, we've got the Pottinger Teradesk 3001 Cultivator. This is going to cost you $16,000, has a 95 horsepower requirement, has a max working speed of 10 miles per hour, 17 kilometers per hour, has a 3 meter or 10 foot working width, and works perfectly with the SB1000 weight. To celebrate the release of the DLC, I will be streaming next week with Giant Software and Pottinger, showing you the new DLC in detail, including with Seasons, and unboxing the FS19 Premium Edition. You can even win an NVIDIA RTX 3080, can I put my name in that list? A PlayStation 5, hey I don't have one of those either, this is unfair, or the Xbox Series X. Don't worry, I have one of those. Join us on Giants Twitch next Friday, November the 6th at 2 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. CET. Oh man, I can't wait. I want to thank Trucker Matsy for jumping in and doing his version of Farm Sim News yesterday while I was getting LASIK eye surgery, which turned out great, by the way. And thank you to the Gohan fan for checking his video out. You made that the most viewed video on his channel by more than double in less than a day. 
and his sub numbers blew up over a hundred in the same amount of time. That is so awesome. Rock on, guys. That is what community is all about. You know what? Well, that being said, let's finally jump into today's top stories. Raleigh Christie, the star of the show for both of today's mod videos, says that the progress on their next semi-truck, the International Transtar 2, is going great. And after 26 hours of work, it is almost ready to assemble. This is a mod that they're working on for all platforms to add to their growing list of great VST trucks or VS trucks already on Mod Hub. White Bull Modding announced their next mod, and it's a JCB UTV. Did I use the right letters this time? Last time I said ATV and got demolished in the comment section. This is a JCB Workmax 800D. This is going to fit right in there with the Mahindra and the John Deere Gator, but gives you another option. Honestly, I like this one better. They haven't said anything official about platform information, but I don't even know if White Bull Modding even has a PC-only mod on FS19, so I think it's safe to say that this is going to be for all platforms. I'll let you know if anything changes. 40 Modding updates us on their Heston Baylor, asking which one will you be choosing? Heston? New Holland? Case? Challenger? Maybe another one. They say that configurations and color options are now completed with animations at 90% completion, textures are around 75%, though wear maps haven't started yet, and the wheel options are about halfway done. From some of these picks, you can see the detail, the true awesome detail that's going to be included with this model. 40 Modding says that they are close to the release of the PC version. A console release is possible, but the model will need some serious simplification to make it console ready because of the console limits, which would take more time. So there's no confirmation right now if that's even going to happen. Insight Design 3D is back in Farm Sim News today and has something really cool for us. They introduced to us their Massey Ferguson Dyna VT Heavy Tractor line which will include the 8670 at 320 horsepower and the 8690, which is going to have 370 horsepower. Its site design says that the model has front axle suspension and is an original in-game model that's been modified to have a new roof, a Topcon, autopilot, GPS screen, front weight, hood, chassis, tank, and rear hitch all redone or added. They say that it's only missing some small details that will be fully ready. So make sure you stay tuned as we're going to be talking about this one a whole lot for sure. You guys know I love Massey. Cola Modding shows off their new Randon Bolt Carrier 1990. They ballpark it and say that they think it's around 90% complete and they're going to be bringing us some more information soon. Already this looks great. SM Farm shows us some more information and gives us a little bit more on their work in progress update for the Lizard Uniport 4530 self-propelled sprayer, which is going to include a host of updates and upgrades to the model, including hydraulic hoses, which is very hard to do. They're shooting for 30 to 40 days for completion of the update from now, which I think is a really fast turnaround for something like this. Great job, SM. I cannot wait to see the final product. Dash Modding is about ready to start the XML work on their new shed, which will have similar features to their pull-through shed that's already on Mod Hub for all platforms, but will include a smaller door plus a pedestrian door on the side as well. The shed is going to look perfect beside its larger brother. With the release of Peter 716's New Park Farm update today, remember that if you want to get the full experience of the update, you are going to need a new game save for everything to work correctly. Whenever something on the map is changed or moved, you will need a new game save, as those are changes that happen in the i3D for the map. New Park Farm is an awesome map for those of you that are new to the game or just want a smaller map with lots of field work to do. Regardless of how you play, Make sure you check it out on the Mod Hub, available now for all platforms. And lastly today, as you probably saw yesterday, Carl Farms West EP in-dump trailers were not allowed on consoles, as the brand West is actually a real brand, or at least a version of one, and is not licensed for Farming Simulator to be released, at least on the consoles. However, Carl says that he's going to rebrand them and get them out for console players ASAP, which is awesome. Carl Farms is working on this update as of yesterday morning, and as of today, there's no more information known. Just like every upset of Farms Sim News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. There's no release dates for mods, so myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I didn't talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording on that topic. 
Please refer to previous episodes on the most current status of those projects, and make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything new going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well guys, after looking like Ray Charles this whole episode, that is going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. All being said, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace! I guess I don't have to put my sunglasses on for the outro this time. They're already here. You know what? Let's take them off. Whoa!